Welcome to this video on user generated content. In the last video, we discussed about email marketing FAQ. In this video, we are talking about user generated content. More so, we will discuss about why UGC works. Is it the modern form of e word of mouth? How does e UGC help? SEO. How do you integrate UGC within your marketing stack? Does UGC produced by produced and shared by millennials only? What are the statistics related to UGC? Why people trust it more than any other brand campaigns? Does it outperform other brand campaigns? What are the best practices you should follow when doing UGC? Why people share their reviews online or UGC online? Can we learn from this WhatsApp case study? Can we also learn from Starbucks case study? Let's discuss both these examples. Now, what is UGC? UGC is something, any form of content that is not produced in-house. That is, people produce these contents. Maybe some reviews, maybe some memes, maybe some images, maybe videos. All these are various forms of UGC that is user generated content. All content that the users generated, users are generating content, not in house content, but stunned out of house. That is UGC, user generated. Now, without further delay, let's proceed to the next slide. Over to next slide. Why user generated content works? Now here you can see the research results from two different surveys. One by tint user on the left side in red and one by marketing professionals in the green on the right side. So these two results. In tint users case, 80% people say it's it sounds more authentic. 48% says it humanizes the brand. And 3% only they say it's none of In case of marketing professionals, 73% say that user generated contents are more authentic. And 52% say it dehumanizes the marketing efforts. So this is why the user generated content marketing it works as in these research results. Over to next slide. Is user generated content the modern word of mouth equivalent to modern word of mouth? Previously, what used to happen is, if any customer wanted to review a brand or a prospect want to gain more information, they would have to they would have to depend on the traditional media media only, like magazines or pamphlets or leaflets. Nowadays, with the new age social media or internet of things or augmented reality coming in people are more on the social media whenever they want to review there are websites for online reviews whenever they want to share some kind of videos they can make video youtube reviews on video youtube or any other video platforms so there are many places even twitter facebook all these places people use them for 
spreading their opinion about a brand. So yes, irritated content in the modern form is the modern way of expressing your opinion about a brand and it's a modern word of mouth for people. So you see that there is a small overlap in the picture between UGC and e -worm that is the e word of mouth and this overlap is what I am talking about. People are sharing their opinions on social media and videos making videos, images, memes, all this. So, yes, it is definitely user-generated content in the modern world of now. Over to next slide. How does user-generated content influence the SEO? Number one, you see that UGC is many a times its keyword rich. So, that is the reviews that you give or the feedbacks or videos or the images are keyword having keyword in them so that is one way of helping SEO now many search engines google bing they also consider reviews on website on web pages as a measure of their SEO ranking so when people leave a review about a about your brand on your web page it helps SEO in second this is the second way it helps us also third way is whenever people leave a review or feedback or video so that adds to the content of the web page and that boosts SEO as well. On the right side you see this is a picture of how how you see boost SEO. 24 ways in which you GC can boost SEO. So you can definitely pause the video and read more about those things. How can you integrate the user generated content in your marketing stack? Number one is you can definitely add the user generated content in your social media content as a part of your social media content. You can integrate the UGC on your website. That is, whenever people give a review or feedback about your brand, it appears on your website. You can also the writings or the creative in the ads. You can use the in the in the user generated content. You can integrate with the ads as creative. You can launch some kind of contest to promote UGC. That is. Promote the user generated content who provides some kind of contest on there, and also user generated content can be there in product sampling, product demo, product reviews. If you are an e commerce brand, you would want to have those. So, these are some of the ways in which you can integrate user generated content in your marketing campaigns over to next slide are millennials the only one who create user generated content are they the only people involved you see that millennials spend 30 percent of their time online on on the ugc channels 37 37% of the time is spent on other media like TV, newspaper, radio, etc. And 33% spend their time on print media. So among the 30%, you see that platforms like Tumblr or 
Snapchat leads the platform with 71% of the users falling in the millennial category. 53% of Tumblr users fall in the millennial category. And also Vine is one of the favorite platforms with 51% of millennial users. So you see even millennials, the social channel they fall for are the channels which promote some kind of user generated content. So you see the millennials are really leading the pack and they are the consumers and creators of the user generated content. Over to next slide. Now these are some statistics for user generated content that you should know. 70 million pictures are uploaded daily on Instagram. On average, 70 million, 500 million tweets about user generated content according to Twitter are produced daily. 72 million links on Facebook about user generated content and 1.5 billion videos on Vine loops, they call it loops, they are played daily. So these are some of the statistics which show how, how large or how huge the user generated content market is. Over to next slide. People trust user generated content more than any other form of media. You see the statistic says 35% of the user generated content are more, of, more memorable than any other form of media and 50% of user generated content are trusted than any other form of media. So why it dies? 35% and 50% are for user generated content. Over to next slide. These are how the user generated content matrices look like. It helps in brand awareness. See, it's up to excellent. You see, excellently helps in brand awareness. Online ad conversions, you see again UGC performs better than any other media. Brand favorability above average. Purchase in data again above average. So you see UGC is outperforming any other kind of brand promotions. Comparing the major brand matrices. Over to next slide. Here are some best practices and do's and don'ts while you are creating the user generated content. Now, this is just for the UGC videos. Even you have, after this, you have UGC images, UGC blog posts. So, for all those tips and best practices, you can consult my blog post with the use generated content blog post for that you will find the link in the description these are just for the UGC video contents over to next slide have you ever wondered why people share their content their UGC content online or digitally so here are some of the statistics for why they share it online and how often they shared it, etc. If you want a more detailed explanation, you can head over to my blog post and you can see all these statistics as well as the decision for the statistics. You will find the link for my blog post in the description below the video. Now what to next click? User generated content example number one. The disgrace was a writer and she was on waterpad 
she wanted people to contribute to her book she was writing a book and she was wanted people to contribute to her book using the hashtag writing with grace on whatpad she she was asking people to contribute to her book so that she could complete the book and the entire campaign was promoted by a dnd that was the example all about that is the case study now you can find out more details in my blog post over to next slide where we will see another case study over to next slide user generated content example number 2 is starbucks case i think it's is called white cup contest so starbucks they started a contest in which an artist would draw or design a good white colored cup for starbucks and starbucks would promote the artist as well as they promoted the brand so anyone could design a cup a white colored cup with the starbucks logo on it so the effect was that even after the end of the competition even after the end of the contest lot of images came to starbucks and they were trending for few weeks even after the contest was over as the result of this campaign the use this is used the generated content example number 2 if you want to read more about this you can definitely head over to my blog post over to next day thank you that we will for this video on user generated content if you have any questions you can definitely put a comment below as well as you can head over to my kuda community and post your questions there somebody from the community will definitely answer your questions also there is a bell blog which is which contains greater details about the topic the link for the blog is there in the description you will find in the description next week next video we will discuss about online reputation manager till then thank you and have a nice day thank you once